We were just out walking to the city actually and we noticed this um, weather is so crazy. It's cold enough that you can see your breath but it's crazy like over here. It's very sunny, blue sky, very nice and pretty. Then over here it is so dark. Yeah, the walkway is still wet. It's like yeah, crazy. We just got rained on, and like over here it's nice. Today is Monday, the day after Easter, and all the stores and everything are still closed for Germany, where we are. We just went to the bank and paid our crazy energy bill, and we also did an experiment, like, experiment today. We want to see what in our apartment is like hogging up all the energy, because our bill is just way too high for our apartment. And so we, what we did today is we went down to like the counter thing that counts the energy that you spend and we plugged out, we unplugged one thing at a time and went and measured it every single time. So what we found is that our freezer um, uses a lot of energy and also our water heater. But we're st we still don't know if it uses too much energy, we just know that it uses a lot of the energy that we use? Does that make sense? So yeah. we don't know if the counter is right yet. We just, yeah, we kind of have to do some calculations now and see like <clears throat> how much we actually use, you know? It's quite confusing actually. And then the freezer, of course, was like super high. When we were down there looking at the ticker, our freezer like kicked on and it, you, it went so fast. Like it was using way too much energy. We have see? to decide if we want to um, risk the 200 bucks that it costs to have the energy company come and check it out. And if there's something wrong with the counter, then they will like carry um, pay for it. But if there's nothing wrong, then we have to. The first lady that we talked to at the energy company, um, she was really nice, but she was very unhelpful. But anyway, she told us that she thinks, or what she said, was that one in twenty people have a broken like counter thing, and. One in 20 of their customers has that eventually or something yeah, like that. Yeah, one in 20 of their customers, which is outrageous and ridiculous. We have a tragic situation on our hands where we don't have any Cokes. We can't go buy any. We haven't had any for like three days or something. We can't buy any because it's Easter Monday. Yeah, because all the stores are closed. So there's like this little kiosk right by our house. It's like for ice cream and stuff, but we're going to go see if they have Coke. Yeah. 250. Success. The most expensive liter of Coke. How much was it? 165. So only double the price of Aldi. Yeah, it's worth it. Hello, hello. Moin, moin. Um, yeah, today was my first day back to class. It was great. Except for this weather is insane. It's like winter weather right now, all of a sudden. Um, I think it was even supposed to snow today, but it didn't actually snow here, but I think it did in other parts of Germany, which is crazy because it's like the middle of April, just saying. There was like only 10 people in my class today, like everyone was gone, and I think it's because everyone is sick. I definitely got sick, Grimo got sick like a week ago, and then he seemed to give it to me. I was just sitting here, and um, Pat, the doorbell rang. Woo! I got my package from my mom. One thing that I miss from the US is Easter candy, okay? American Easter candy is like bomb. These uh, sweet tart jelly beans, literally the best thing in my opinion about, well, not the best thing about Easter obviously, but the best thing candy wise about Easter is sweet tart jelly beans. They are so good, don't knock until you've tried them. Okay, funny story. Ooh, I also got Cadbury eggs, hmm. Ooh, I don't know, maybe I will hide these from Remo. Just kidding, but really maybe I will. <laughs> Funny story, my mom was sending this package and she asked me right before she sent it, she's like, hey, anything real quick that you want me to just throw in there? And I was like, oh no, I couldn't think of anything really. And then the next day, I just remembered, I was like, oh my goodness, 
uh, sweet tart jelly beans, duh. And so I texted her and I was like, I'm so mad. I forgot to tell you I want sweet tart jelly beans. Like, that's what I want. And she sent me a text back and she was like, well, good thing I know you well because I stuffed them in there last minute. I was like, oh, that's so great. Bimbo got to try his uh, first sweet tart jelly bean. What do you think, babe? <laughs> They're really great. Yeah, but what what is the exact words that you said when you tried it? I don't remember. You said, mmm. They were good. That's they a direct really, I was quote. surprised how good they were. And then he said, mmm, I love America. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was great. And I do miss the US sometimes and their candy. Yeah. And their burgers. That's a thumbs up. <laughs> well, we've kind of talked about this energy thing. Actually, we've talked about it a lot. So we measured... Like a few days ago, we measured how much energy we use and we found out that we use like as much as a eight person household, which is way too much. Um, so we did each thing, we've already kind of explained this, but we did each thing like kind of separately and unplugged each one and then measured it. It was a long process um, just to see if our ticker was off or if it was something in our apartment that's hogging all of our energy. After running all of the numbers and doing a lot of math, we decided that it was probably our freezer. So we unplugged our freezer, and so it's been unplugged for a few days by now, and we had to eat all of our frozen veggies in there. <laughs> I have been talking to my dad a little bit, and he recommended that we actually, now that it's off, we measure everything else the same and just measure it again with the freezer off and see the number that way. And if the number is like significantly lower, then the problem is probably our freezer. And if it's the same number, then we still have a problem. <laughs> so we're about to go do that now. So we made it to the crazy room again and it's freezing down here. <laughs> it actually doesn't seem to be moving. It moves quite slow. No. It's like watching paint dry or something. <laughs> Move slow since we stopped the freezer. <laughs> it kind of like we're laughing about it, but we're also hurt inside because of how much oh, money a, we wasted it's an on that. Eight hundred dollar joke. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hundred dollar joke. Okay, so you see this red line? It's slowly turning. So once it hits the little middle thing, then we're gonna start timing and go. Seventeen, no, sixteen, fifty-five, four. Okay, so two minutes with the freezer on, and it took, how long this time? Seven something. Seven minutes for it to do one spin with the freezer off for like three, four so days. So instead now. of two, we now have seven. With a base lace, instead of two minutes, one turn is seven minutes on one turn. Mm -hmm. So that's like three times slower. Like, that's like a lot. So then we really found our like evil thingy in our apartment. <laughs> evil freezer. Trucks. Could have That's... bought a new freezer from that. I know. We literally paid a hundred bucks. No, more than a hundred bucks. We paid eight hundred bucks. hundred bucks a month. About a hundred bucks a month. A hundred sure. bucks a month for the freezer to run. Don't shut me in here. Huh? Yeah, you would take that. Scary. There's so many spiders in there. It's so scary. Guys, look at this weather. I'll just... Go on outside. It's hailing. It's gonna be quite loud, but I just caught one. You see it? Spring in Germany. So there's a meteor shower going on this week, and I read online that the best time to look at it is tonight. So we're gonna see if we can. I swear I've seen some some meteors, <laughs> but it might be <laughs> it might be too light around here, like the oh, too too many, lights. too many lights. Yeah, the sky is just so clear right now, and it's never clear here. So who knows? Maybe the camera's gonna pick up some of the you know what you call them star streaks or whatever. Meteor, meteor, meteors, meteor. Stjernschnuppe. Is that like a word for that? Shooting star? Shooting star, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get a nice little time lapse for you of the stars, so if there are no meteors in, in there, at least you'll get cool stars. We just did a nice little workout on this uh, boxing um, uh, bag, boxing bag.
Primo used to do boxing a little bit in high school and so he has one like that's from his childhood and yeah he just was showing me I think it was successful maybe I don't know my real was laughing at me a little bit because I think I looked a little ridiculous my arms were not doing what I wanted them to do it's new to you right yeah I don't know. happy Sunday we're about to go on a bit of a walk. We're gonna go to this park. Um, it's called, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but the last time we were there, we played Swedish chess, right? Was that the last time we were there? I think so, yeah, we walked it too, actually. Yeah, it was really sunny when we were making this decision, and now it's not sunny, but who knows, it might be sunny again. So this park is like over, so we're over here, and then there's like the city, and then it's like kind of like, so you have to like go through the city to get there. Well, we're gonna go through the city on the way back, right? Los... Los Gips. Oh, that guy's like... Um. <laughs> that guy's cheesing for our camera. <laughs> Funny too. <laughs> Rima was just telling me that there are these signs that say that they're shooting a movie um, at this park and like kind of by our house, like in the streets by our house. Not a movie, a show. So like, there's like a show that takes place in Lunenburg. I don't know what kind of show it is. But they film, they filmed in the city a few weeks ago and they're gonna film around by us. So it'd be yeah, cool to like show it. Show. Yeah. Same with that show. We don't know for sure, but. <laughs> what are they doing again? What's it called? Uh, LARP, but I don't know what the letter stand for. Live action role play. Yeah, live action role play. That what's what it's called. LARP. LARP. Yeah, like when I was younger, my friends were like into that. You know, I've never been there. Never done it. So live action role play, that's what they do. That's pretty intense, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Okay. It looks like fun, right? <laughs> like, I would love to do that. So this right behind me is the salt water thing that's supposed to be good for you to breathe in. I can't kind of do a lot today, you know? It's yeah. It's so sun, it's evaporated. What is that thing called where you, you know, that thing that he has that's supposed to have like a ball of spiky? In the end? Yeah. I have no idea what what's that, that called? called in, what's that called in English? Uh, it's like the best weapon in there, right? Yeah. What does it say on there? Oh, a flail. A flail. That's not it. And the morning star. But morning star, I've heard that one before. It's the thing. Okay, morning star. Okay, but there's something else like, it's not the right word that I'm looking for. I don't know. Does anybody know? Please tell me. I wish I had like a scoreboard or something so you could like watch like soccer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is cool, this wall thing. I think I've shown this before, but there's like salt water that comes down and then they have yeah, these yeah. chairs that you sit on and you're supposed to be able to breathe it in. The sun was just out. I think it might come out again in a second. Where is it up there? Yeah. Flowers over here. They're really pretty. And they're purple. Let me take some pickies. Oh look, there's a cafe here. It's probably something for like the people that run those. It's for bats to sleep in. I really can't think of a word right now for, for bats in German. I just can't. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
read it. Yeah, so we actually, like, saw the city on the way back. We drove a different way on the way there. Just...